This is when I talk to the audience at home and I need to warn them about something. And what I need to warn them about is what we're about to do because it's so gross. Hello and welcome to another episode of Hacker Whack Snack Edition. Today, we're getting fizzy. Claire, what uh, horrors do you have for us today? Well, we're getting fizzy, but we're also getting a little creamy. And I'm not sure those things go together, but we're gonna find out. The first thing I have for us is the classic combination of Pepsi and milk, which is just called a Pepsi milk. You may have heard of it if you watch Laverne and Shirley. Any specific kind of milk? Creamy whole milk to go with your Pepsi. Some people have said it's like a, a root beer float. How much of each? Half and half? Half and half, yeah. Half and half, really? Hold on, let me verify that. Half and half, but we're not using half and half. It says half a cup of whole milk and top with Pepsi. Stir if desired. Wait, top with Pepsi or equal amount of Pepsi? Because that sounds to me like you're just drinking milk and you're putting a little bit of Pepsi on top. You know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do half and half. Okay, I'm gonna start with just a just a a whisper of Pepsi. Ooh, cracking open a cold one with my boy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, are we trying this? Cheers. Oh god. I hate it. I hate it so much. I don't hate it, but I feel like my inner wasp is really showing. Like milk. Who drinks milk besides weird white people? What I was getting with just like the splash of Pepsi on the top is it just tasted like milk with just like enough little bit of Pepsi and fizz in the back that made it unsettling. So I added more. I got the very uh, firm bubbles like how you got. Yeah, you need that foam. It just kind of tastes like watered down creamy Pepsi. So I guess if that's what you want, we might disagree, but I, I think this is whack. I would not want to drink this. I think it's kind of a snack. I'm sorry. <laughs> but also like I am a freak who will dr just drink a glass of milk. This one I saw on Twitter, it was like some vintage, like vintage drink that's seasonal and good for you or something. Good for you. Retro ads will claim all sorts of things. So we're basically doing the same thing, but we're using 7-Up instead of Pepsi. I feel like Pepsi is, and cola, kind of has like a caramelly, sugary kind of thing, which goes well with cream. That's why like vanilla Coke is pretty good. Cinnamon Coke is good. Like those things go well with milk. 7-Up, which I couldn't even find, so I have Sprite, is lemon-lime. Do I want lemon in my milk? No. Do I want lime in my milk? No. But what about like a creamy lemon dessert? Let's just drink it. Again, yeah, I'm gonna do the half and half. I'm starting with my milk, and this glass is taller, so it's more milk, which I love. Same amount, we think? This looks, this looks worse. There's no foam here. It just looks like... Oh God, I'm not gonna like this at all. Cheers. Cheers. Seven up in milk. No. No, actually. No, I do hate it, but I'm wondering if I hate it that much. Cause it does, on first sip, it reminds me of like a lemon ice. I'm not endorsing this in the public arena. If you have, if you have enough milk to drink and you have enough seven up to drink, each of those individually is better than this. Yes, exactly. Like this isn't terrible. I can drink it, but why? It is It is less than the sum of its parts. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> the calculus doesn't work out. I think it's whack. I agree it's whack and I never want to speak of this again. I hate it. I love it when we agree. Okay, what do we have now? Another retro classic that I found on Twitter, which is Hot Dr. Pepper, AKA the Hot Doctor. I love a hot doctor. I do love a hot doctor. Do we think this will work? Why do we think that Dr. Pepper could be drinkable warm? Because Christopher Walken said so in the Alicia Silverstone <laughs> classic film, Blast from the Past. I don't know if you saw that. I missed that one. I'm hungry. Hot Dr. Pepper, your favorite. But also, I don't know, it's got like some warm, spicy flavors that might translate well. Who knows, what, what, how many flavors are in Dr. Pepper? 22. And you know, vanilla, cinnamon. I've heard prune is a flavor in Dr. Pepper. I, I kind of buy that. I agree that it does have that like wintry spice thing, that mulled kind of flavor profile. So maybe, maybe it'll be okay. Can't be worse than 7-Up and milk. Okay, I'm just gonna call it. Let's pour. And it's still fizzing. You gotta, you gotta respect that. After all it's been through. 
Ooh, very, very fizzy. All right, are you ready for hot Dr. Pepper? So ready for a hot doctor on this cold winter's day. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know if because it's so sweet and fizzy that just we're conditioned to want that cold. Well, for one, like the a lot of the carbonation has been obliterated. Like, and I feel with something that's sweet, you need you need that that like hit in the back of your mouth that you get from carbonation. You need the bubbles to take some of the sweetness off your tongue. <laughs> I could see a dumb child liking this. Well, Claire, wait, no, here's a question, Claire. If you were throwing a party, would you, like a winter party, would you do a batch of Hot Doctor and add some alcohol to it? Do you think that would be a pleasing drink to anybody? Let's find out, Joel. I'm not a huge fan of hot alcoholic drinks to begin with, but a toddy of, sh of sorts. It's a toddy of sorts. As far as I'm concerned, fine is not good. Because I think this goes back, this goes back to the other one, which is if you had Dr. Pepper, you, it would be better to drink it cold than to drink it warm. Even with alcohol. Yeah, so for that, I would say that this is whack. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's whack. I almost like it. Sorry, hot doctor. I'm gonna have to kick this hot doctor out of bed. <laughs>